Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. We is the math with SDSS. I'm your math teacher, Deepak Srishta from Easy Math with SDSS. So normally what I do is so I bring here the videos of mathematics, but today I am here with a different type of video. So here uh, just I want to share my ideas uh, how I upgraded my Windows 10 to Windows 11 although uh, my computer don't have TPM TPM is the basic requirement of Windows 11 we know it so you can see it here So compatible TPM cannot be found. You can see it here. Uh, although this is the basic requirement of Windows 11, still I managed to uh, install Windows 11 in my computer. So similarly, uh, you might um, be thinking of upgrading to Windows 11, but uh, your uh, PC or laptop may not have that TPM 2.0. So if you don't have uh, TPM 2.0 or so on then uh, how to upgrade your computer so let me begin for that so it's quite simple just go to any browser just I'm going to browser here okay so after going to the browser just click here download il Windows 11 so you can see it here just click here okay so here uh, there are two options Windows 11 installation assistant here uh, but here we'll be going to ISO image this one so select download Windows 11 and then you will be asked to choose the language so just uh, you can click here English and then confirm so after you click on confirm then it will be downloaded so as I have already downloaded it here in my computer so I am leaving it here just if you click on confirm then it will be downloaded just to be sure on that mm, let me go on download okay so here I have already downloaded it so after the download is done then just you need to go on sources and here in sources there is a prices uh, the last one this one not this one but this one a prices the DLL so open it with a notepad so after you open it with notepad then just uh, find for your TPM so search for TPM so you can see it here I got it here and just delete it then find next and then delete it again find next so in this way you just uh, find the component of TPM here no need to delete this one and go on deleting it so it's quite simple isn't it so you can see it here just find next so no need to make changes here so in this way go on deleting the components of TPM
so TPM version again there is TPM I can see it here so let me delete this one also here is also TPM okay so all the components of TPM are related okay so now you will be finding for UEFI UEFI just find it so you can see it here just delete it yeah so it's all done okay now so what you need to do is just go on file and then click on save as and you can save it in any one of your drive uh, let me save it in my Z drive so let me save it here okay so after you save it on Z drive so you can uh, save it in any one of your drive it doesn't matter so now what you need to do is just you need to extract the file just click on here and here uh, extract it so I have already extracted it so I haven't got here the option to uh, click on extract but uh, when you just download it then you will get the option to extract the data so uh, after you have extracted it so I have already extracted it here so let me unmount it so I have already extracted it here in here in this way so so the folder in which you have extracted the data so just go and sources and after you go and source this then what you need to do is uh, just cut the file that you have uh, saved earlier for example we have uh, uh, extracted here and saved here in where uh, Z drive you can see it here appraisers okay just cut it and then just paste it here so this is what you need to do uh, to uh, upgrade your Windows to uh, Windows 11. Now, after you just save it here, then click on Setup. Then, after you click on Setup, then it will be done. So, this much that is to be done to upgrade your uh, PC or laptop to Windows 11. So, I was also searching for the methods as I don't have TPM and this method definitely worked for me and I hope it will work for your PC and laptops too so this much for today so very soon I'll be back with the new piece of video uh, with congruency of triangle so bye everybody see you soon